What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the crew neck esports slash soccer jersey template mockup. Um, this mockup is in our store right now and it's about $15 and it comes with six views including front, back, angled front, angled front two, angled back, and angled back two. So six views for $15 there. Um, and when you download these they should come in TIFF form. So basically it's the same as a Photoshop file, except it opens up a little differently. So if you're having trouble opening it up, you just have to right click on it, open with and Photoshop. And it should open up like so. And you'll have your layers over here like a normal Photoshop file. I'm going to go ahead and close my libraries here. But if you guys are familiar with our other template mockups or template mockups in general, it basically works the same, but we're going to be showing you how to create a quick little design here. And we're actually going to be using our template or our template FC patterns pack. Um, we'll use the part two one since that just dropped as well. And we'll open up the Photoshop file instead of the Illustrator file since we're working here in Photoshop. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a bit of a NorCal jersey. You guys are familiar with them. They're an esports team. Um, and whenever I create a jersey, I always like to open up the smart objects and add my logos first, get the colors from the logo, and add the colors throughout, and then design. So let's go ahead to the designs here and open up the body design. And we're going to go ahead and find our NorCal logo. If we just give it a quick Google search. You can see it's right here. And we can go ahead and just drag that in and you'll notice it has a bit of a background so i'm going to get the magic wand tool and we're going to do this the lazy way we're going to click all the black so let's click that hold shift click that click that and press command c command v delete the original and now we just have our black logo here and this is just going to be centered i could line it up with the logos already there but it's not going to be set up like a traditional jersey so let's go ahead and do that and then hide the rest of the layers. Now, if this logo had colors, I would go in, click and add them to my sidebar by clicking them like that. But since it's black, it's already there and they actually do use a blue. So I wonder if I can find a version of that. I really can't, but let's go ahead. Let's grab this. Let's grab this logo and let's just pull one of the blues out from here. Boom. Delete it. And there's the blue we're going to be using. Obviously, most logos come with colors and you can pick the color precisely. That was a bit of a um, jerry rig job. But um, let's hit Command I on that logo to make it white. And actually, I'm going to press Command U and jack the lightness up so it's all white and we don't have those funky edges. Press Command S to update this layer. And let's go back to our mock-up and boom, there's our logo. I actually want it to be a little bit bigger, so let's go back in there and adjust the size. By the way, I apologize for any fan you guys hear in the background. My computer's going a little crazy, but there we go, our logo set up. Obviously, a lot of esports jerseys will have more logos, so you just want to play around with them and adding them. The sleeves are always the tough one, so if you struggle, I'll show you real quick how I do my logo sleeves or my sleeve logos rather. Let's go ahead and just use the NorCal logo real fast. If we bring it in here, um, you can see this is the right sleeve. So the logo will be half cut off. So let's put it half cut off here. And if we save this, you'll notice it's way, it's going to be way too big like so. Um, so you just want to mess around and save it and adjust the size. So I think that placement's pretty good, but we just got to bring the size down from the top. Let's press command T on it, drag it down, save. And there you go. That would be a perfect logo size and placement for a sponsor, uh, a sleeve sponsor of some sort. Uh, in this case, we don't really need it, so let's delete it, save it, go back. Cool. Now we need to go to the colors group and add the appropriate colors. So um, a few things. First of all, if you want the jersey to be all one color, you could just hide all the colors but the base and then go ahead and make the base the color you want, which is this blue. And then boom, you're done. Um, in this case, I do want the collar to be, we'll say white. 
And if you wanted the sleeves to be a different color, you can adjust that as well. But in this case, I do want everything to be basically blue except the collar. And you'll notice if I hide the designs, you can see that everything is blue but the collar, and that's what we want. Now we have the body open and the right sleeve open. Let's open the left sleeve. I'm going to actually come back to the mock-up as well. And I'm not going to be using the collar smart objects, so I'm going to hide them. But if you do want a collar design, you basically open these up and adjust them. So you can add different striping or actual designs in there if you'd like. Maybe we make this blue black real quick just as a test for you. Um, and then you save it, it updates it, and then boom, there's your collar design. Real simple, but you'd have to do it to three of those layers to get the full thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the right sleeve and let's hide the grid and stuff and I'm going to right click clear the layer style so there's no strokes and I'm going to drag that to the bottom and I do want it to be white so I'm going to leave it as white and save it. And let's do the same thing to the left sleeve, hide these, clear the layer style, command T, bring that down, save it. And there we go, we have a nice blue jersey with some white trim, and now we can go ahead and add our designs. So typically you'd go about designing the jersey how you normally do, adding your designs, creating it, whatever. Um, here at Template FC, we like to use our, or our patterns pack and get started with one of these patterns. So we have a bunch here, and I reckon this Everton warm-up pattern will look pretty cool with this. So let's go ahead and drag this to the body. And we're going to drag it to the bottom and you can see the background is transparent right now, but let's go down and add a solid color and make sure it's the blue we're using and it is so perfect. I'm going to take this Everton pattern, press command T and let's increase the size and press enter and I'm going to right click rasterize that. Let's mess around with the blending options. Let's come here, maybe multiply. I don't know, let's mess around. Color burn I think looks pretty cool. Let's do that, let's press save. Go back, and that's a pretty cool looking pattern if I do say so myself. Uh, I think that would look pretty cool. I do wanna add a little bit of a texture to it now. So I'm actually gonna create a new layer, and let's go to filter, render, or let's do filter noise, add noise. And actually, we got to fill this layer. So let's press Command Delete to fill it with white. Press Command I to make it black. And then do Filter Noise, Add Noise. We'll do Gaussian or maybe Uniform. Now let's do Gaussian. Jack it up to like 350. We'll click OK. And let's go to Overlay and set that to about 50%. So this just gives it a little bit of a texture. And I think it'll look pretty neat with that noise on it. It's a subtle effect, and you can't you can only really notice when you zoom in, but I think it does a good job of breaking it up. We could even leave it at a hundred percent opacity, and it'd probably look pretty good. Cool. Um, now, a lot of times in esports jerseys, they add shapes and things. Um, there's a lot of blocky shapes, uh, and one I want to add here for this is a black circle or a blue circle behind the N logo to give it its own like spacing there. So let's do that. Make sure it's the right blue, it is. This blue's looking a lot lighter now with that pattern going on. And let's maybe knock it down. Let's also create a new layer and add some color to the sides. So I'm gonna go down here, click, hold shift, go up, click. And the armpit should be right, right around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create like a little bit of a rounded, um, a rounded part of the rectangle and then close this out right click fill I'm gonna do a color and I'm gonna do our blue okay okay right click delete and there we go there's the side press command J to duplicate command T to transform right click flip horizontal let's bring it over to the other side line it up cool let's press save on that and that should give us some side stripes and obviously the background there and yeah that was almost perfect with those side stripes um, we could even mix that up and make those maybe white and that looks pretty cool 
Now you can see the body is obviously a darker blue than the sleeves. So let's go ahead and grab our color fill, our pattern, and our texture, and add it to each of the sleeves. Now we gotta drag it below the trim, so the trim's still visible. Um, but other than that, we should be good. And we'd also wanna drag it below any logos we have. But in this case, we don't have any. So let's add it to both of them, save them both, come back and it should all be the same blue, which it is, and it's looking really cool. I think we should go to that circle and make that a bit of a darker blue too. So let's click that and maybe select the darker blue or maybe a medium blue. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm also gonna duplicate that circle once and on the, uh, the one that's below, I'm gonna go ahead and make that one white. And I'm gonna press Command T on that press alt and shift click one of these side points and kind of break it out like so so we have these white edges on either side save that and i think that might be a cool look yeah that's pretty interesting it looks like it's part of the logo when it's not but i kind of like that i think one thing we're missing here is some stripes on the sleeves i actually want some white on like the armpit so let's go to the right sleeve Let's get a rectangle. I'm gonna flip my colors so it's white here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and create a small rectangle like that. I'm gonna press Command T on it and um, hold Shift and bring this in so it aligns with the edge. So if we drag it to the other sleeve, we can make it the same exact width. I'm gonna save that and just see if that works for sizing. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and drag it to the other sleeve. This one is gonna to go to the left side, however, and let's save that and see how that looks. It looks pretty good, but you can see it rides up a little too high. So what I'm gonna do is come to that left sleeve, click here, I'm gonna click the little chain so our layer mask is unaffected, but with this selected, this sleeve design layer selected, I'm gonna press Command T, right click, warp. And I'm gonna zoom in here with Command minus, or Command plus, Take this and just adjust it slightly so that's white is no longer showing there. I'm going to press enter and then lock that layer back in with the chain. Press command zero to zoom out and there we go. There is our jersey design. It's looking pretty cool. Um, obviously we could go more in depth with the design itself, but I don't think that's too bad. I think that's a pretty good jersey design. I hope I showed off how to use this. Um, pretty well Be sure to check out this template in our store as well as our patterns packs and our other templates We have a bunch of good mock-ups available and a bunch of free ones. Thank you guys for watching this video Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tutorials on our mock-ups and our products Also be sure to follow us on Twitter at template FC and Instagram at template FC where we post concept jerseys all the time from our various creators using our mock-ups and we're always posting discounts and deals we have going, so be sure to follow them to stay up to date. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.